Hello parents and guardians. It was a cold, windy and wet return to school for all students and staff last week. Most students were well rugged up with additional layers on underneath their uniforms. As I went through many of the junior school rooms, I could not believe the amount of students in their shorts and polo tops. I asked them, were they cold? And they all told me they were fine. Gee whiz, it reminded me what it was like to be young again. Like always, students were happy to be back in the company of their friends with lots of smiles, hugs and many stories to share. Can I say a massive thank you to Mr Bailey for leading the college during my leave over the last month of Term 2. I can certainly say the school has never run smoother. I know he was well supported by area principals and all staff during this time. What a massive term ahead we have for our Year 12 students who will complete their final course assessment in both their VCE and VCAL areas of study. VCE students will then turn their priorities to and energies into exam preparation. I'd like to wish all our year 12 students the best of luck and success for this term. Thank you to Mr Crowley for leading the development of the Positive Chronicles for parents of students who display one of the college values. I hope this has been well received by parents and positive conversations at home have followed. I hope that many parents have cleared some space on their fridges for all the civics your children will receive. Congratulations to all students from years 5 to 10 who have received mid-year awards for their achievement in semester 1. These are always exciting assemblies for the college, students and parents. Recognising students for academic excellence, endeavour, co-curricular and citizenship awards is a very important event to prioritise for all students in the presence of their peers. Thank you to all the parents who are able to attend the middle school assembly. Our Year 10 students have some significant events coming up this term, commencing with course counselling next week for their VC subject selections with parents in attendance. They also have a Year 10 formal later in the term. Additionally, we have a Year 10 group travelling to the remote Indigenous community in the Northern Territory during the Term 3 holiday period. One of our ex-teachers that many of you will know, Mr Fraser, is the current principal of Naguka School. It will be great to see him and, the, and what an amazing experience for our students. Unfortunately, we commenced this term with increased COVID transmissions across the state and traditional winter illnesses in abundance. As a college, we are following all DEET guidelines to support the wellness of all students and staff. We have been informed by the Department of Health that it is strongly recommended that face masks be worn in all indoor settings. I ask all families to discuss this option with their children and make the decision that is in the best interest of your child. Students can collect spare masks from their area receptions. I have also requested this from college staff. As a college, we cannot enforce masks to be worn. I think I need to be clear with that expectation from the department. Rapid antigen tests can be collected from area admins or the main administration block by students or parents who are a close contact or display COVID-like symptoms. I was informed by the City of Whittlesea late last term that the funding grant to support the building upgrade of the senior school netball courts and the cover were not approved. This was an extremely disappointing outcome due to the amount of work that has been done over the last 18 months with the department and the City of Whittlesea. Unfortunately, this is not something that the college can fund without additional funding grants. As a college, though, we will refocus our commitment to upgrading the senior school oval to a standard that supports its high usage, its usability in the winter, so improved drainage, and surface cover and irrigation during the summer months. We will also target other medium projects to improve both our grounds and facilities. The education sector has been hit hard with staff shortages, as many of you have heard or seen on TV and radio. As a college, we are committed to ensuring the safety and quality of our educational programs for all students, and we will continue to seek the guidance from the Department of Education around managing staff shortages and class cover when staff absences is high. If you do have any questions or concerns around this, please contact myself or a member of your child's area principal team. I wish all students and parents a successful, safe and healthy term ahead.